By the way, the mixed team standings after stage one in Shanghai. Colombia was leading with 16 points. After stage two, though, in Antalya, Denmark had moved into the top spot with 20 points. And in mixed team scoring, the first place team that wins the gold medal picks up 16 points. Second place, 12 points. And the bronze medal that Braden Galantine and Crystal Gauvin just won brings 10 more points to the United States. All right, we move on now to the mixed team gold medal match. Should be interesting as well. And this is Iran, the 13th seeded team here, but they made it all the way to the gold medal match. Iran defeating Germany in the quarterfinals in a shoot-off before beating the United States by just one point in the quarterfinals. And there he is, Ismail Ibadi on the right, 39-year-old, and he's teaming up with Afsana Shafilavija, excuse me, Afsana Shafilavija, the 25-year-old. So those two out on the uh, turf. Let's be honest about it, it is turf. Oh, and it's hot. <laughs> it is hot. I felt it through the bottom of my shoes today. It's There's no, no forgiveness for that out there. It does come up through the shoes, and it does give you the hot foot. So uh, Afsana Shafilavija, and Esmael Abadi getting set to take on the duo from Denmark that defeated India by one in the quarterfinals before beating Colombia by three in the semifinals. And it will be Stefan Hansen, the 20-year-old reigning world champion now, teaming up with Sarah Holst Sonnenschen, who's also 20 years old. It's remarkable what these kids are doing these days. What were you doing when you were 20? Uh, shooting my bow. You were shooting yeah. your bow. Yeah, I, I've done it for a few years now, so. Sarah Holst Sonnenschen, 20 years old, ranked 24th in the world, winner of 17 matches, has won 65% of her matches. And of course, Stefan Hansen, ranked 9th in the world and the world champion after Copenhagen's world championships two weeks ago. And Stefan Hansen, going for his second medal of the day as well. Yeah, well. Like we talked about, this will be his second time out on the field, which I think is a, a clear advantage. So we'll see if it pays well for him or not. His teammate, though, out for the first time. Of course, that's true for the two Iranian archers. Yeah. Shafi Lavija and Ibadi. Of course, Ibadi coming off a world title in the team competition in Copenhagen, where it was a little bit cooler a lot. The, the, <laughs> the temperature differences are not even close. It's it's really strange that in two weeks we've gone to Europe and we've had such different weather. A little bit different up in Scandinavia. Yeah. Yeah. And the Danes yeah, start off at the 10. Yeah. Sarah Holst Sonnenschen, her average score right around 9.44. She finished ninth in Copenhagen individually. And yeah. Stefan Hansen yeah. continues his hot shooting. Yeah. He's shooting well, and it breeds confidence, and your shot comes really easy then. So now Ibadi, 39 years old, ranked 27th in the world, and he's been having an outstanding summer. Yeah, yeah he has done very well. He, he shot well. He, the other day in the eliminations, very well. Shafi Lavija, 25 years old, ranked 73rd in the world. A little bit low, but catches the line. Yeah. It'll be it'll be interesting to see. Always in the mixed team, where you look and see if you're the half of the team of what the stronger one can carry the, the other one or if the other one will step up to meet with the with the stronger competitor. Because you see that sometimes. You see when the other one gets the confidence from the guy or the gal mm -hmm. gets the confidence. You know, either way, it works out real interesting. Yeah. Yeah, he continues his good shooting. I mean, like I said, I think a lot of it has to do with getting the experience out there. And that was shot broke low and hit just a hair bit low, so. It's going well for him today. Now Ibadi, who started off this year with a team silver medal in Shanghai at stage one. Picked up that world championship team gold in Copenhagen and now is in the mixed team gold medal match here in Poland. Shafi Lavija, just off the mark. 
And both her arrows were low, so we'll see if she catches on to that and moves her side or if she fights with that. So I actually talked to Witi, uh that's coaching Italy now, and he said that the hardest part for him is coaching some people is they don't want to move their sight. And he says, I have had that fight with so many people. And with one of his students right there, she finally moved it. And it was funny because her next arrow was out the top, but she didn't have one arrow above center. And so... Why would you not move it? it you know what? Sometimes, a lot of times, people shooting will be like... Uh, it's me. I'm I'm the reason it's hitting low. I'm the reason. I'm the reason. But to me, I always move mine a lot because mm -hmm. I will give myself help. We're we're such a creature of habit. If I'm happen to be not realizing it and I'm holding a hair low and it's breaking low and doing that, if I can give myself a little click to maybe help me out a little bit, I think that's a huge part of maybe it saves a ten, maybe it saves a nine, maybe it saves an eight, maybe it saves something that I may have done, you know. I just call them my help click, so so you just have to get past being stubborn, huh? That's it, exactly. <laughs> Trust realize, the equipment. Yeah, realize that, yes, you do do silly, dumb things, but you paid a lot of money for that site, so you use them knobs and move them. My we have the technology tell. reel. Yes, we do. We, we have, have the technology. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, and they make some amazing, <laughs> amazing tools for these bows. So it's 39-38. Denmark with the early lead. So a body shoots first and shoots well. Yeah, continues. Hanging a little bit on that left side of the tan, but still solid. Shafi Lavija with four victories in international competition, looking for her fifth. She debuted in 2014. In fact, almost medaled her first time out, lost in the bronze medal match at stage one in Shanghai last year. It's a pretty good start. Yeah, not bad. Get to a medal match and almost win a bronze. Yeah. Good look at Sarah Holst Sonnishin, who did well in Yankton, South Dakota this year, silver medalist at the 2015 World Youth Championships. Yeah, and like I said, she did well at the World Championships in herself. So these two are both running off a lot of confidence. And so I think she'll feed off how Stefan's shooting and it'll help him. It's just amazing to me to see what composure these young athletes have. Mm -hmm. But I guess, you know, they've had so much experience. Yeah, and that's one of the cool parts about our sport is that we have, like, a, the juniors and we have all the other entities that help them right. get used to it. The so. cadets and mm -hmm. it does bring them along. So by the time they're 20 years old, they're grizzled veterans. Yeah, they've played the game enough. They've, they've seen a lot of things. Well, so. actually, they're veterans. You're the grizzled veteran. Yeah. <laughs> Rio Wild along with Carl Arkey here on Archery TV. And Iran running the table with four straight tens here in the second end. Three X's, so they were shooting very well. I'm going to put a little pressure on Denmark. We'll see if they can finish these last two out to, to hang on to a tie or if they're going to fall behind a little bit. Ooh. She looks steady, but the shot leaks out into the eight ring. Well, it broke a little low. I, I think I don't know if she let it go or if the wind kind of caught her a little bit and she moved because we can feel it come through a little. But uh, she she knew when it went where it was. And Stefan catches it on that left side because, like I said, you could feel it coming across a little right to left, and you see him look at it like doesn't look as bad and maybe didn't feel as bad, but you could tell it moved the arrow a little more than he thought. In that situation, what's running through your mind as, you, as you're trying to use that computer of a brain like yours to try to take in all that information, what do you, how, do you, how do you process all that so that you get the right shot? It's tough to guess. Uh, in a team event, you hope, and the hard part with a, a girl is the speed of the bow is so different to know how, how far to aim off. But for the most part, you, as a communication, you'll be like, hey, I, I had to hold right side nine, right side 10. And, and usually you have somebody behind you say, ooh, it's picking up a little more, it's a little less. And the hardest part is, where do you go? Do you, it, it's a kind of a guess game and how much is it going to go or what it's going to do because you never know until that arrow goes down there what kind of difference it's going to cause. And as soon as you guess and you release the arrow, yeah. the wind's going to pick up or, all of a sudden. Or stop. Or stop. I've, I've had it. You know, like you'll be fighting it, holding it up there against that wind, and it just stops, and you go way out, and it's right where the pin broke. So you're like, oh man, the wind let me down. But it's it's it can be a challenging little deal. It's not that is the, that is the tough part about outdoors is the wind will it'll either help you or it can really hurt you. And if a guy gets on during a roll during the wind, ooh, it can be scary because it'll help them just break at the right times and just 
it happens. If it's your day, it's your day in the wind is kind of how I always think about it. Just when you think you've got it all figured yep. out. <laughs> well, right now, Denmark's got to get some things figured out because Iran leads by 2, 78, 76. And Sarah comes back with a stronger effort. Yeah, see, and I think she's still on that right side because there's enough coming across it that she's not really caught on to it first. And it, like I said, women don't shoot the, the draw length of the pound, so the bow's not as fast. So. Mm -hmm. They step in. Can't break through that wind quite as easily. Yep, so, you know, he's got back in the middle after that last one that he was on that left side with the wind. Stefan Hansen, a three-time champion at the Youth World Championships. Did it again in Yankton just Damn. last month. Now I'll go on a limb and say he guessed out the right side. You can kind of tell by his look, and it's like, yeah, it went right where I aimed. Because you watch the wind gauge on the on the monitor, it's it's lit up just a little bit. It had gone from two to down to point. So three. he was counting on the wind to help yep, him out, exactly. bring it back. Yeah. Shafi Lavija, little low. Yeah. So it puts us puts us within one now. So we're back to a real serious match. So. On a hot summer Saturday afternoon in Wrocław, Poland. Yeah. 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 Sarah gets a good grip on it. Yeah. Let's it rip. Tan and see if Stefan can pick it up and put a little more pressure on him. And he's been solid. He's cleaned this whole match, so. Yep. And he continues Boy. it. Just does not miss. Well, and like we talked about earlier, having shot out there already, it helps mm -hmm. the, the kind of deal. So Stefan Hansen definitely in the groove right now, and the pressure is on the team from Iran, but a body comes through. It's a big shot right here now for Shefi Levija. And a disappointing eight. And as the U-birds fill the, fill the field as you get sometimes when it's a, not the best shot because people give the oohs. I, I, I've heard them. Not exactly what you want to hear. No, not at all. Not you at get, all. You get that. Uh, Vegas is the one place that I hear that more than anything when you're down to the shoot off. And if a guy misses, it's like, ooh. And you know. <laughs> well, back and forth we go. It was Denmark jumping out to a one-point lead after the first end. Then Iran came back to grab a two-point lead after two ends. But Denmark comes right back, helped out by that eight from Shafi Lavija. And Denmark goes up by one again, 115-114. So a seesaw battle going on here in the gold medal mixed team match at stage three, the 2015 Archery World Cup Tour. Much more in store after this match. We'll go to the individual matches, which should be very, very interesting. Yeah, there should be some good ones. This, the nice part is we got some good matches here. Our mixed team have both been really good. I mean, one point right now, and the other one was one by two in the last two arrows. Denmark came in to Brotswaf, leading in the standings after stage two in Antalya and trying to stay on top of the standings, but what a shot by a body. Yep, right in the middle, starts it off good. And we'll see if that puts the pressure on. If she steps up and puts one in, I, I can see a lot of pressure going over to the team from Denmark. Can that 10 put more pressure on her? Does it really, well, there's an eight. So yeah. maybe that answers shot, my question. Everything she's shot low. So she's looking at her bow, wondering if something's going on there, and, and maybe it is. You just don't know, and that's that's sad if it's if it's equipment problem that you're having, but it happens. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Relentless. Yeah. The Danes pouring it on right now, trying to pull away. Massa too. Here in this fourth and deciding end. The man oh. who won't miss, missed. just missed. Yeah, just, low. just a little bit. And he knew, he knew when he let it go. It was a little low. And, you know, you only miss one in a match. That's a pretty solid shoot, and I don't care who you are. Oh, and an eight. 
good as he shot the whole time, that is yeah. kind of a surprise there. Unexpected. Yeah. From Ismael Abadi. <laughs> so Iran starting to fade in this heat. Yeah. You're in Wrocław. A 10, two eights, and a nine. That's a rough finish. You know, I mean, hoping for a good one to, to put some pressure on the opposing team, and that doesn't do that really well. Kind of scuffling towards yep. the finish line. Meanwhile, Denmark continues to march towards the victory. Yep. And I think Stefan Hansen could do this with his eyes closed, maybe one hand behind it. Well, I guess you can't do it with one hand behind it. Yeah, no, you need both hands, tough. yeah. But yeah, he could. He could probably let this one go on pretty well, barring anything blown up, it's gonna be there. True to form, par for the course. He puts it right dead center. Stefan Hansen closing the door. And he and Sarah Sonashin have wrapped it up and won the mixed team gold medal here at stage three in Wrocław, Poland. And they do it in convincing fashion, pulling away down the stretch to win by five, 154 to 149. A little bit of a deceiving score. It was really a good match through the first three ends. Yeah, and like we talked about, it was that last end where they just kind of, it got out of out of hand, let's put it that way. Because right? mm -hmm. it's it's hard to say, because they shot really well in the last, actually three arrows. So, because an X9, not, or X889, it, they started off good. It just, sometimes that happens. You know, the pressure gets to you, the thoughts of, hey, I got to put two down there and get it done, and it can get to you. You know, and that's, we curious to see how it carries over because uh, Abadi has to shoot this afternoon against Vermeer and it will be interesting. He will be back. Abadi will be in the gold medal match for the men. That's coming up in just a little while.